Thanks. We're learning more about one of the men who died in a Goshen double murder. Now, tonight, Goshen's mayor trying to reassure people in the community. WSBT 22's Hillary Powell is at the live desk right now. Hillary, have police released anything on suspects? Not yet, Rick, but they are holding a news conference tomorrow. In the meantime, Goshen Mayor Jeremy Stutzman says he understands there's concern about the shooting deaths of Jose Nava Orozco and Marco Carmona Gonzalez. I spoke with the people that knew Marco best. He is a man who is missed. 43-year-old Marco Carmona Gonzalez has 12 brothers and sisters, and they all miss him. I miss my brother. I don't know. Brother Juan Carmona Gonzalez says he doesn't know why anyone would want to hurt his brother Marco. He says he was a family man with a wife and a 14-year-old daughter. Carmona Gonzalez and Jose Nava Orozco were found shot Sunday in Brookside Manor. Neighbors say normally it's quiet and safe. Now they say they're wondering if someone is still on the loose. It's a concern Goshen Mayor Jeremy Stutzman wants to calm. We feel very fortunate this is a very rare occurrence in our community. And obviously our police department is working hard at this, um, making sure that we do everything we need to to go about the process properly. Police have not released any suspect information, but they say it's not a random act. My heart goes out to everybody that's been involved in this, the family and the, the friends of the people involved. And I, I just want them to know that we're working hard on this. The family comforted one another today and say they have come together. Yo siento que en vez de cambiar la... I think we are more united now. We are always united. The only thing that changed is that he's not around. The Carmona Gonzalez family says funeral arrangements have been set. We'll have more information on our website. As I mentioned, we're hoping to learn more about any possible suspects in this case at a news conference set for tomorrow. At the live desk, Hillary Powell, WSBT 22 News. All right, Hillary.